Yeah, but I knew. <laughs> All right, your pal Roger Wilco here. Happy Monday, January 13th. It's Inside Roger Wilco. This week's episode, we're focused on Bud Light Seltzer. It's hit the floor. We've got all four flavors for our lovely passengers out there. Stop on down to the store and see what we got. The prices are untouchable. No one's gonna sell it cheaper than we are. If you wanna join in this craze with us, follow us on this week's episode of Inside Roger Wilco. Okay, and here we are, we're back. I know you guys have seen the commercials on this stuff. It's blown up the entire weekend. It's Monday, January 13th. This stuff has just hit the floor. The trucks were delivering at 6 a.m., people. It's crazy stuff. Woo! That's how Roger does it. So, anyway, we're talking Bud Light Seltzer. This stuff, it's the juggernaut. It's Anheuser-Busch, people. They put a lot of money into this thing. They want to be on the block. It's January. It's seltzer season, right? I don't know, but guess what? We got it. And they've obviously thought this one through. So, let's talk about the different flavors that we got for you. Um, our variety pack. It's got a little bit of everything. I didn't even realize we had it. I just saw it. That's crazy. It blew my mind. Anyway, we got the strawberry. We've got the lime. We've got mango. And we've got black cherry. Four flavors plus the variety packs. Um, I don't know what else you need. Let's talk pricing. $13.99 a 12 pack. No one is touching that. You think somebody's touching that? No, no. Huh? That's a good price and nobody's touching Roger's prices. Yeah. Okay, $27.98 a case. Scrub the web, people. We do. We need to make sure we're there. The right price point for all my friends. Anyway, so as you can see, we've got some inventory. And speaking of inventory, we have 10% of the entire inventory for the state of New Jersey in this store. That speaks to the buying power. Ugh. God, we've got good buying power. <laughs> that speaks to the buying power of Roger Wilco. And that is why we are your destination location. People come from states away to shop at this store. It's iconic. It looks like the, the Epcot Center outside. If you're ever on Google Maps, just look for this weird shaped little dome. That's actually the top of Roger's noggin for those of you looking at home. <laughs> All right. So anyway, Bud Light Seltzer, the commercials are on fire. We've got the inventory. And remember, we have got it here. It's Monday, Pennsylvania. They get it on Friday. That's four. Hmm. How about we go five days? because they may not get it to the end of the day. I bet you that's what's happening. Those truck drivers are slow over there in PA. Anyway, four days at least, head start. Get it while you can, because when the inventory's gone, that's it. You know how these rollouts go, people. Let's take a quick break. Blake, hey, has anyone seen Blake? I haven't. Let's take a break. We'll be right back on this week's episode of Inside Roger the Seltzer Wilco. Baby shark did it, did it, did it, it. Baby Raj did it, did it, did it, it. Yes, it's your friend Roger Wilco here. As you can see behind me, we have some fantastic artwork that says Roger's giving away 25 cent kisses on Valentine's Day. Guess what? Mrs. Wilco is not going to be happy about that, but I love my customers and we do fun things for you. All right, so before I leave this lovely section up front, Look at all the Valentine's products that are out. It's January 13th and we've, we're already into February. We're getting ready for you. Look at this behind me, beautiful stacks. So you can start making those purchases now to get ready for your sweetheart. Sweethearts, uh, you little dirty boys out there. All right, but anyway, we've got all your choices. Coming back to the seltzers, I wanted to make another quick point. This Friday, okay, this Friday, we're gonna be sampling the strawberry Bud Light Seltzer that has just hit the state today. We're sampling it here in the store. Everyone may be out of stock, but guess what? We got it here. We're sampling it over at the Growler Station. Stop back, see Matt, 
He'll pour you some out. You guys can uh, make a determination on your own whether you think it's a hit or a miss by our friends over there at Anheuser-Busch. All right? So with that, thanks for watching this week. We love you all. Make sure you give us some feedback for future videos. We'll be back later this week to be talking about Penfold's wine and the sampling we'll be doing this Saturday with Jimmy Quayle, our in-house sommelier. So be sure to look for that and more fun from your friends here at Roger Wilco.